make a demonstration on Panini One products. I, I personally like them. The only thing that I find a little frustrating with these is a lot of the times, I don't know if the card size varies, but sometimes they like seem to shove these things in the in the one touch. And like I'm looking at it through the back and it looks like the corner has some issues. So, you know, if you are a Panini, you know, one one in one, I think the basketball is, or the Panini one football, whatever, or even flawless or stuff like that. If you like collecting these and you grade these cards and you're sick of getting eights, you're gonna wanna cut them open and do a couple check downs before you get them graded. So I looked at this card the best I could through the case. It's all you can do. Um, front looks really good. I just done my preliminary test, but on the back, I feel like there's like something on his arm and that corner looks a little odd. So let's just take a look. I can still hear it, hear it moving. Some of these guys, you grab these and they you don't even make a sound. And you go to open them and the card won't even come out because it's so wedged in there, all right? I've made demos like that before, but just get out a little X-Acto knife. That's the easiest. Don't try to um, peel that sticker off. It's a pain in the butt. But thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care, and we're going to talk about Panini One. So I'm just looking at it from an angle. I'm just making sure I don't got anything to do on the front. I love card care that's, like, quick and easy. Sometimes it's not. But let's, let's look at the spots I was seeing through the case. Yep, there's definitely something there. Just from that roughed up area. See that roughed up area? This is inside the slab. Yikes. But it doesn't look like it cut into the card. And then the that corner is unacceptable. Alright, so let's fix it up. I usually do corners and edges first, but this little goober is annoying, so I just Sometimes I get fixated on something, so let's just do that, then we'll fix that. I'm looking at the other edges and corners, look pretty damn good. I'll just show you start to finish how I how I do this. So let's zoom out, I'm gonna get some card polish. Every time you open up your card polish, I want this to last you to the bottom, and you, I don't wanna see it poking at it or scooping it. Don't do that, just keep it all nice. All one, all one nice smooth layer. Go all the way around the circumference. Keep it happy, it'll serve you all the way to the bottom. Always use a nice fluffy microfiber. Even though the back of this card looks papery, it still has a lacquer on it, so it's it's safe to do this. Whatever's on there is on there pretty good. From a selling perspective, I feel like if you can't get a nine on these cards, they're just probably worth more to keep in the little factory case, you know? But this one looked promising. for that corner. This is what we gotta get rid of. See that big lip? And it's like they, um, it's like they're just, the cards are sometimes like almost too big for the cases where they shove them in there in a weird way. So I'm just looking at this in a few different ways, guys. I think I got a game plan. I don't want to crack any of this. It looks like the, the hit has a little bit of a wobble to it. Um, do my best for you. It's a little bit of a wonky kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is 
I want to use a little bit of moisture on it. I mean, it sucks that you have to get the expensive cards and they come like this, but you just gotta, you gotta know how to do this type of stuff, guys, or you're just gonna be overpaying for the product and then getting a grade that you don't need or, you know, something you could do better with. I'm just gonna, I'm barely tapping at the edge of this card. And I want to be real careful of that top coat. It's so easy just to pull off paint. So I just put a large photograph sleeve. It's the same stuff as penny sleeves. But it just serves as a nice go-between. I'm just tracing the edges, guys. This, this is my corner tool. And... Um, if you need anything like this, I have everything available at kurtzcardcare.com, but questions, of course, hit me up anytime, but I don't think this will be a huge fix, and I think this on a, you know, when I look at it from a difficulty perspective, it'd be a very easy fix, okay? So I'm just look, taking a good look at it. did remove the penny sleeve I just want to kind of tap that area because look right now I got some moisture in there see how I has a kind of a little bit of a hump to it I think all I have to do now guys is just let it dry out and it should dry flat you don't want to when you when you put moisture in a card and you see that hump you don't want to start pushing on it you just let it go back into place naturally see how the hump has no wrinkles on it or anything like that that should just dry nice and flat and tight now. It only should take a few minutes. There's one more thing just above it. You can see that light is kind of being a pain in the butt. There's one more right there. So I'm just going to repeat that process. I still got a little moisture on here. wrinkles are gone got a little bit of moisture in there I'm gonna let that dry probably be good to go in about five minutes I'll do uh, yeah it looks good I'll do before and after pictures for you guys too because you might be looking at that going oh, I can still see a bump don't worry that's gonna go that's gonna go away that little corner down here It's sloping down a little bit. So since I have the card out like this, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Either like cards like this will have, um, the corners will be bent up or they'll be sloped down a little bit. Usually you're gonna see them slope down when you take them out of a one touch like this. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of moisture right there, right there. That's it. And we'll let nature do the rest. We'll let that absorb, bring it up, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm not gonna keep the video rolling for 20 minutes while it dries. I'm just gonna let that moisture leave and then I'm gonna go back in with the card tool and just make sure everything looks tight and looks good. And let's just do a once over together. That corner is good. That corner is good now, we just need to let it tighten up. That one looks good. Same thing, you can see a little bit of moisture in there, but it's gonna dry up, it'll be fine. That one looks good. 
fortunately no fingernail marks or no dents, so we don't got to deal with that. And the front looks good too, so overall pretty good quality control on this one. And let's just look at our edges, make sure we don't got any stains on our edges. Cool, that's it. All right guys, so I will um, let this hang out. I'm gonna put it just like this, face down. And I'm thinking that's all pretty much all the work I'm gonna have to do besides just a little bit of like, kind of like maintenance like this, just looking at it. But I don't plan on having to add any more moisture to it. I don't think that's necessary. So I'll let it hang out and dry. And then I will uh, put up the before and afters so you guys can see it. And that was what I just did right there. It was super simple. I know you can do it. This little tool is called the Tortillon. And I just put a little bit of my card spray on it. And that's what will help you with some of these paper corners. I hope that helps you out. If you're having the same problem, just do that and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. <laughs>